The Kaduna State Governor Marlon Nasil El Rufai has called on the military security troops to scale up offensive within the next 39 days against terrorists not to take advantage of the transition window and unleash attacks on innocent citizens in the country. The governor stated this when he received the first quarter security report from January to March, which indicates that 214 people killed uh, were killed and 746 were kidnapped and also 116 victims were injured in the 2023 uh, security report under review. Plus TV correspondent Habila Darifar files in this report. The State Commissioner for Internal Security in Kaduna State, Samuel Arwen, has presented the security report in the first quarter of 2023 before security councils, traditional leaders and stakeholders. The report shows that Kaduna Central tops with victims killed, kidnapped and southern Kaduna the most hit. He also said efforts of the military has yielded positive result with 89 bandits neutralized and scores in airstrikes. Meetings kidnapped in first quarter of 2023, 746, 450 male, 254 women, 42 minors. Kaduna Central account for 492. Southern Kaduna Senatorial District account for 2,221. Northern Senatorial District account for 17. 3,680 life rounds of ammunition, 20 magazines, 13 cartridges, IEDs component 10, RPGs 3. Reacting to the report, the Kaduna State Governor expressed concern over killings of citizens and the military in the war front stressing the need to sustain the current offensive to the bandit and terrorist hideout. There is every reason to intensify and sustain simultaneous ground and air kinetic actions across the seven frontline states of the Northwest region and Niger State, which have continuous and contiguous forest ranges that, and are most heavily impacted by this security challenge. We appeal for an escalation of security operations over the next 39 days remaining till the end of the tenure of this administration and beyond, so that the change of button at the federal level does not result in a dangerous lull that criminal outlaws can exploit. The security chiefs also said authorities need to employ use of non-kinetics as well as communities tolerating one another to foster peace. Ours is intelligent generation and dissemination, <coughs> and then follow up. I also want to confess that uh, the response of the sister agencies to most of the intelligence we supply has been very, very impressive, and uh, I actually commend them and urge them to also sustain same. Recent intercepts are beginning to indicate that these bandits want to come over to that place to commence activities. To reduce the challenges southern us. Indeed, in other areas too, we need quite some push on the non kinetic line uh, so that where people can learn to live together in peace. The need for both the traditional institution and the state to do more to see how we can be able to contain this situation. If not, we continue to run around the same circle without achieving much. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.